Hola, it's Senor Huey, and it's time for Spanish. Let's get one look with our buenos dias, buenas tardes, and buenas noches on. Are you ready? Buenos dias, buenos dias. Como estas? Como estas? Muy bien, gracias. Muy bien, gracias. Y usted, y usted. Good afternoon, buenas tardes. Buenas tardes, buenas tardes. Como estas? Como estas? Muy bien, gracias. Muy bien, gracias. Y usted? Y usted? And the last one for good evening or good night, buenas noches. Let's go. Buenas noches, buenas noches. Como estas? Como estas? Muy bien, gracias. Muy bien, gracias. Y usted? Y usted? Ole, all wound up. Let's get started. Now we're going on a, on a roll here right now. Class A, we're going to review numbers. We got colors. We have shapes. We have things you can wear. And it's time. It's a new month. Whew. Let's get through it. Okay, are you ready? Let's start with the numbers. But first of all, I always want to show you zero so you can see what zero looks like in English and in Spanish. So we're going to do the Spanish one. Class A, cero. There's no card for zero, so I have to do this one here. Class A, cero. You got it? Cero for zero. Now let's get started. Now I want you to say it, and I'm going to say it after you. Are you ready? Listo. Ah, listen. Ah, muy bien. Class A, what's number one? It's going to be what? Uno. Dos. Cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. Now, at this point, we know from 11 to 15, everything ends in the sound C. So, number 11 is going to be what? Right here on the top. What is it? Don't say once. Mm -mm. I say once. Once. Doce. Trece. Catorce. Say now from 16 to 19, we're gonna start putting numbers together 10 and 6, 10 and 7, 10 and 8, and 10 and 9. Okay, class P the 16 is one word here 10 and 6. I say DS says we're saying DS says, but we kind of eat it and make it one word. I say DS says perfecto. Now, class 17, DS 18, DS 19. This in the way, and now we're at 20, okay? And we're gonna go all the way to 50 now, okay? I'm just gonna do the tens, okay? We did 20 as being 20. Now for 30 class A, now this one is 20. Now for number 30 class A, we're gonna say 30. You see it right there, class A? Repeat class A. Again, say 30. Good, 30. Now for the number 40. So 20, and then we have 30. Now, now 40 is a little bit longer. 40. Let's put that together. 40. Now, your tongue rolls a little bit. 40. That's 40. And now we're at 50, okay? We're at what? 50. 50. Now, all you do is add numbers. Though 20 and 1 gives you 21. 20 and 2 gives you 22. And 20 and 3 gives you 23. 20 and 4, 24. And 20 and 5 gives you 25. Let's say it. Now, we're going to say E. We're going to say 20 E 1. 20 and 1. I'll say it quickly, 21 as one word. Class to repeat that, 21. 21, say that again, 21. So therefore, if I look at it, class A, it looks like this. You ready? Class A, let's go. It looks like this, class A, 21. Got it? 21. Well, then what's 22? 22. Perfect. You see, when I don't think it has a little accent there, right? All right, that 20 dos, that dos has an accent there, and that makes it a little different. Because it's one word, 20 dos. All right, what do you have for 23? 23. That E has an accent. 23. All right, what's 24? 24. No accent. 24. And number 25 is what? 25. Now you count all with 25. Okay, I can say 26 is what? 26. 27. 27. 28. 28. 29. 29. And then we're at 30. And again, what was 30? Who remembers 30? Mm hmm you forgot, okay? Class of the pizza. Trenta. Who remembers 40? Quarenta. And who remembers, can we require the 50? Cinquenta. Now, this is our goal. Ooh. Okay, yeah, I'm going to ask you to a million. You got it? Move in. So now that you know some numbers, okay, let's see how well you remember colors. Okay, now I'm going to give you some different words for colors. This time that might seem a little different words you've learned before, but they're different words for different uh, colors in Spanish, all right? It's not always one set word. They have different words in different areas of countries that speak the language. So therefore, we can learn those words as well. So the first one, class A, we're going to do, class A, is going to be the color what? 
red. And you know, Casa de Pita, S, it is, S, and what color is it? S rojo, the word at the top here, Casa S rojo. Good. Now for blue. All right, let's see, that was red. Let's try for blue. Casa now, and you're going to say Casa S azul. Good, S azul. That's for blue. Now, the next color class is going to be green. S, you're going to say what? S verde. Class S verde. Good. All right. The color for black. S negro. Class A, not negro. Class A, negro. Because it sounds negro. S negro. Muy bien. All right. Class A, the color for purple. Now, this is one you, this is a new color for you. Okay. You haven't seen this word before. Class A, look at it. It's called purpura. Accent, accent, pupura. Mm-hmm. Pupura. That's another word for purple. We learn another word. This is another word for purple. I say pupura. All right. Now for the word brown. We learn another. We learn cafe. This is a new word for brown that you learn. This word time is going to be what? Marron. Sometimes you might see cafe. Sometimes you might see pardo. Or sometimes you might see marron. They all mean brown. I say marron. And next one, class A, is going to be class A, orange. Okay, now I'm going to say uh, anaranjada because naranja actually is the orange that you eat. So we're going to say anaranjada, but the car is going to say naranja. Okay, because this is actually the orange that you eat. Anaranjada is the color, so don't forget that one. And then class say the one last one we're going to do today, class, is going to be the color yellow. And we're going to say what? Amarillo. So the one I'm going to change, class, is going to be orange. When they say naranja, that's the one that you eat. Okay, we're going to say anaranjada. That's the color. Muy bien. Let's just say them together. Okay, you ready? Let's go and look at the card, and we're going to say exactly what it is. Okay, you ready? All right, I'm going to start from the back, okay? All right, class A, the one that's going to be what? Amarillo. Am I told you? It says naranja. You're going to say anaranjada, the long form. Anaranjada. Muy bien. Marrón. Good. Pupura. All right. Ready? Negro. Verde. Azul. And last one's going to be rojo. Excellent, Declasse. Now, let's see if you know a few things you can wear, something around the house, something you find in the house, and something you find inside and outside. You ready? Let's see. Let me do this one first, then I'll come back to the shapes, all right? Now, let's see. We're going to wear first the shirt, okay? The word for the shirt, you remember, class A? La camisa. I'm going to give you a lot, class A, because I have a lot of vocabulary to give you. We're going to put this together. We're going to make some sentences, and you're going to be speaking Spanish like, oh, where are you from? Oh, I, know. I thought you were from Mexico. Well, let's try it, class A. La camisa for your shirt. Now, with your shirt, class A, you're going to probably want to wear. This one serves two purposes. First of all, this is a pair of jeans, but it's also a pair of pants. Jeans are pants, right? So in Spanish, to say the word for jeans, we say los jeans. That's it, los jeans. But now for the Spanish word for pants, we're going to say clase los pantalones. Clase los pantalones. Muy bien. Now, along with that, you need some socks. That's a long word for socks, okay? Ah, a lot to say. Mm -hmm. Calcetines. Put that together. Los Calcetines, the socks. You will note that all Spanish words that are nouns is going to have los in front of it. That just means the, okay? Everything in Spanish, they give it a the in front of it. And we say los sometimes, we say la sometimes, we say el sometimes, we say la. And they all mean the. Okay, here we go. I say los calcetines. Muy bien. Now, with the socks, you're going to need to put your shoes on, right? Mm-hmm. Nice shoes. Uh, class of the pizza, los zapatos. The Z sound is like an S, okay? It's a Z, but we're going to pronounce it like S, class A. Los zapatos. Los zapatos. Eh? Muy bien. Also, ah, some people have both of these in their home. Some just have one. Let's see. You might have one. You may have both. The dog and the cat. Now, for the dog, class A, we're going to say, class A, and you got to roll that tongue. Class A, perro. You didn't see my tongue. Perro. You don't see my tongue. It's behind my teeth. Okay. Class A. Mwah, right. Mwah. It's like perro. Roll. Perro. Mm -hmm. The double R is always roll. Also, words that begin with R have that double roll too. Class A. Perro. Now, for the dog, we said what? El 
El what? El perro. But now, who is this? All right, it's the kitty cat. Okay, the kitty cat. All right. And we're going to say quickly, el gato. <laughs> el gato. Muy bien. So for dog, it's what? El perro. But the cat is going to what? El gato. Perfecto. Now, here's something extra I want to teach you. Okay, here we go. Now, um, let's see. If we look outside at night, you might see something that looks like this. That's the moon. All right, now if I say any word for moon, let's see if you can tell me. What is that word for moon? Remember that? Can you say those sounds? Did you say la luna? If you do, you're absolutely correct. Absolutely correct. If I say la luna, the moon. But now during the daytime, it's going to look like this. The sun, okay? So during the day, we say what? El sol. El sol. At night for the moon, we say what? La luna. Again, if I say el sol, la luna. Muy bien. Now, where do you live? You live in one of these, maybe? If not, okay, that's okay. But if you're in a house, if I say, can you say the word? La casa. La casa. You live in la casa. Muy bien. All right, if I say you did good on that part. Now, you need to tell me now, we have left February or febrero. We are now in a new month. And what is the month that we are in now? Marso, you got it. I'll come back to my shapes, okay? I might come back to my shapes in a minute. But now for the month of March, we said Marso. See how you spell it? Marso. This is the month of March. Okay, these little flowers you in here. If I say Marso month. Now, March is known to be the windy month of the year. So, uh, March winds, April showers, okay? All right, now, so we're going to say it's windy. To say it's windy, class, say, we're going to say hace viento. That means it's making wind. And we say it's windy. I say hace viento. But if I ask you, well, what's the weather today? What's the weather? I'll say, que tiempo hace. How's the weather? We say, what makes, what's making in the weather right now? We we translate that as being, well, how's the weather? I say, que tiempo hace. Say, que tiempo hace. Que tiempo hace hoy. What's the weather like today? Que tiempo. Que tiempo hace hoy. You can say, hace viento. It's windy. Hmm? I say, I say, bianco, bueno. Now that you've done that, you know the month and you know that. Now, can you tell me some shapes? Now, I didn't forget you now, okay? All the shapes. You should know all of these, okay? And the first one, class, is going to be the what? El circulo. Circle. All right. The next shape is going to be the a squished up circle. is going to be a what? Oval. Pronounce it. El ovalo. The, the oval, okay? El ovalo. Good. Now, after the oval, then we're going to have the this box here, which has equal size. All four sides are the same. And we call this a square. And then pronounce the classic. Can you do it? El cuadrado. El cuadrado. Got it? El cuadrado for your square. Now, if I have the same thing, but I only have two long sides and maybe two short sides, or two and two equal, let's see, two are the same, we call those a what? It looks like it's called a what? It's called a rectangle. So we pronounce, I say, el rectangulo. Whenever I see that accent right there, I know it's called rectangulo. Hmm? El rectangulo. Mm -hmm. Now, after I've done that one, here's one here. Now, you had a rectangulo. Now, this is the what? Three points. Triangle. Mm -hmm. All right, class A, can you pronounce that one for me? Uh, it sounds like rectangulo, but we say what? Good. Triangulo. El triangulo. Good, good, good. Bueno, bueno. Uh, we had this for the month of February. Everybody knows this one. I have to do it. Okay. So, therefore, for this one, we say what? Uh, the heart is going to be el corazón. El corazón. That was the word of the month of February, class A. El corazón. Mm -hmm. Now, the word for this one had at Christmas time a lot, okay? The star, you know this word, class A, la estrella, la estrella. And then the last one is going to be the diamond. Woo, a diamond, class A, el rombo, el rombo, el rombo. Muy bien. Okay, now you've done so well, you're ready for your scripture. And we're all going to read the Lord's Prayer every class at the end. We're going to read the Lord's Prayer until we know that Lord's Prayer. We're going to just read it until we know we know it, okay? we got a few more months. We'll get it. 
And now for the scripture for this one. He covers the heavens with clouds. He prepares rain for the earth. He makes grass grow on the tree. It came from Psalm chapter 147, verse 8, okay? All right, he covers, all right? He covers the heavens with clouds. Mm -hmm. He prepares rain for the earth. He makes grass grow on the hills. You see it right there? It came from Psalms, the 147th chapter and verse 8. Let's see what we can do this in Spanish. We're going to read El, S, L, K, Cubre los cielos de nubes. He covers the clouds. El, K, Prepara la lluvia. Que para la tierra. All right? So, el que hace, el prepara, el que prepara la lluvia para la tierra. Mm -hmm. Next one. El que, I'm reading backwards. El que hace que las colinas, okay, produzcan, okay, hierba. It's from the book of Psalms, clase Salmos. And the book is 147, we say 147, 100, 140, 47, 7, 147, verso, what verse? You know, 8, 8. One more time, read it with me. El es el que cubre los cielos de nubes. Okay, let's try this one. El que prepara. Lluvia para la tierra. Last one. El que hace que las colinas produzcan hierba. What book? Salmos. What verse? What chapter first? 147, verso 8. Muy bien. All right. Next time, let's read that Lord's Prayer and I'll let you go. All right. Here's the Lord's Prayer. Then after that, we'll do like a maroon, and then we're going to do a green. Are you ready? First one. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Casa de Peter. Casa Padre Nuestro. First of all, let me go back. The Lord's Prayer. El Padre Nuestro. What book of the Bible? Mateo. What chapter? Says, what verses? Nueve hasta trece. Now, let's try it. Our Father, which art in heaven, Padre nuestro que estás en el cielo. Say it. Padre nuestro que estás en el cielo. Hallowed be thy name. Santificado sea tu nombre. Again, santificado sea tu nombre. Let's try to get the gray section here. Okay, class A. All right. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. Venga tu reino. Hágase tu voluntad. One more time. Venga tu reino. Hágase tu voluntad. Next one. En la tierra como en el cielo. En la tierra como en el cielo. Next one. Give us this day our daily bread. Danos hoy nuestro pan cotidiano. Try it again. Danos hoy. It's a silent. Danos hoy nuestro pan cotidiano. All right. Let's try the green section. Okay. Not burgundy section. Okay. And forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Okay, we say what? Y perdonanos nuestros deudas como también nosotros perdonamos a nuestros deudores. Try it again. And forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Y perdonanos nuestros deudas como también nosotros perdonamos a nuestros deudores. And the last part, we'll say clase. And lead us not into temptation. We've got one more. And deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Are you ready? Here we go. Y nos metas en tentación. Mas, líbanos del mal, porque tuyo es el reino y el poder 
y la gloria por todos los siglos. Amen. Ole, you did it. I know you can do it. Pase, you can do it without even looking at it. All right, adios, Pase. See you next week. I have some more. Study, estudia. Adios.